No more newbie here, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a gameplay thumbnail like this one here using the Share Factory app which is free and easy on the PS4. This channel is about Fortnite improvement and Share Factory tutorials so all of my videos on YouTube have been made using Share Factory and it's a free and easy app to use so if you haven't seen my other videos on how to download it um, and how to uh, record your gameplay um, then do check out those videos because we covered quite a few things on how to get started so in this video we are looking at the work we've done so far in the previous two videos so we recorded uh, the gameplay that we wanted to use and then we uh, showed you how to upload it onto YouTube and then we showed you how to uh, split the clips into shorter sections to get rid of all the the fluff or the boring stuff that nobody will want to see and um, we uh, added transitions and uh, that's where we're at now we did have a basic thumbnail in the first um, video but uh, that was without text and that so we're going to show you how to uh, make it a little bit more interesting here so a couple of different ways of making a thumbnail now I'm using the video clip here to make a thumbnail but you can use a screenshot if you want to if you've got screenshots saved so I'm just flicking through here and thinking that this sniper aiming shot uh, might be a good one to put as a basic thumbnail so what we can do is if we like the look of this we can look at cloning the clip and then we can play about with it without um, thinking about ruining the actual video so clone the clip there and what it does is it puts the exact clone of that clip next to it and then we want to move it to the end of the video just so we're um, not getting it confused with any other part of the clips in the, in the video itself so we've got it at the end here and uh, they just press X to apply and then so you sort of remember all the buttons along the bottom tells you what to do so we're moving along we're going to split this clip by pressing square so um, but what we want to do is find it make sure we're in the right place because we don't need all of that clip so we've got it towards the beginning of where that sniper was up so press square to split it and then confirm it with the X button get rid of this by pressing um, square and then um, confirming the delete and then we just repeat that so we're finding the bits that we want to go past because uh, we don't want okay so we're gonna get there press um, square and then confirm the um, split and then um, press square again to delete and confirm the delete so this is the clip that we've got left here so it contains the part that we wanted to save and we're just going to use the d-pad to move left and right to get to that point so we've gone a bit too far there we go that's what we want um, so then that is the bit we're working on we can start adding some text now if it is a little bit trickier with it still being a clip because you might find you moving about a little bit but the way to add text is go to add overlay and then you've got all these stickers here obviously where you could add any of these and you can change the sizes of them and rotate them and, and move them around and do different things but we're gonna um, we're not gonna use any of these either we're just uh, you, you can import images as well but we're gonna get straight into the text to be honest and um, the camera effects you could use if it was a clip that we're gonna be using but we're gonna use it as a thumbnail so there's that wouldn't really show anything because it's a still image um, so we're just going to use the text I like this um, font here so I use that in all my videos but you can play about with it and find whichever ones you want and then you it comes up with a box here and you can start typing in what you want now I've always probably put too much text in my thumbnails and you've got to remember a thumbnail might be seen on a you know computer screen or a mobile or something so a lot of this is going to be harder to see if you have too much text so I've generally think I've put looking back I've put too much text on my thumbnails so uh, I've kind of started it with the Fortnite improvement uh, noob improvement journey videos in a certain format so I've kind of had to keep, keep going with that but I'll probably say to you to try and have less in your thumbnails um, but you know put as much as you need to but not um, any more than you need to so um, I do think I put too much in but you know, I'm going to carry on with that for the noob improvement journey videos um, but what we're doing is we've typed in here 30 day noob improvement and then we've got all these different options of things that we can use um, you can transform it by using the transform button 
and um, then you can come out of it there okay and then we're going to just write journey and again you can change the sizes of it um, and the duration there don't worry about that too much you can change it later so you, I normally just skip through that duration part uh, and then change it later and then I'm just trying to get the size roughly the same as all the rest of that one and then we'll just work out where we're going to position it and I think yeah or we could actually go yeah we could go over the other side over here and put that there and then just push X to confirm once we've got that in the right place and then uh, we want to add a little bit more so we've done that as two separate sections there so we can adjust them separately obviously so now we're going to add day 13 which is day 13 of the journey and we're going to just skip that bit go to color now day, uh, yeah we'll do that in a minute actually so we're going to position that so roughly where we want it now you'll see the image we had has changed okay so it's just where we've moved along accidentally in the video and this is why it's better sometimes to have a screenshot um, but I didn't take a screenshot on this one I just wanted to use that video so it's not an issue I'm just going to change the text duration on all of these um, to cover more of the video um, I think so yeah what we'll do because it's come out of it a little bit we'll just go into um, where the text is and we'll make all of the text a bit longer so we will just push square uh, square to change it so square and then text duration we're just going to make that longer and it covers more of the screen and we'll do that for all of them so as the way we change it is go to text duration and then we're using um, we're choosing which bit we want to look at down the left hand side which bit that it's on is the bit we're changing text duration and then we use the left and right sticks just to spread the uh, duration of the um, text out so that it stays on for most of the clip and uh, that will mean that we're not worrying about it disappearing at different parts um, so we're just going to do that for all of them text duration move the left stick to the left and then that makes that darker blue all the way across the clip makes it um, stay on there for longer and you can play about with when it ends and finishes um, and this is really useful for I did a, a few videos on um, put, and put, put clips and uh, text on the clip saying uh, tip for about five seconds and just saying you know do try and do this or try and do that and then while the video is playing then this clip is the text is showing during the clip and then disappears after five seconds or so so it's not just for screen um, shots or for thumbnails you can do this for videos and, and put stickers on at different points of the video if you want to make it more interesting different things so it's just a case of playing about with it and doing um, different things and seeing what works and what doesn't work for you but um, so we're at the point where we're just tech putting this which is the going to be probably the name of uh, the day 13 clip which is where I just got a win um, but it's a passive play video so didn't really um, get into too many fights it was more about um, getting a good loadout ready for end game so uh, right so we've got that and we're just going to resize it and again all the buttons along the bottom there telling you which one so R1 to increase the size R1 to decrease um, just position it where we want it and then we're going to add another bit which is win so passive win and then confirm and then uh, transform move it down increase the size up with r1 keep going till we roughly think we got it the right size in the right position and then x to confirm and we're just going to change the duration again so that's covering a decent amount of time and then that is that part okay so then we're going to just change the color of some of the text here so you just push square and then go into color and then you can use these you can use the hue or saturation and all that to get exactly how you want it you can add text effects as well so i'm um, just going through these um yeah so you know you've got that all these different options there's so many different ones to choose from so this is one of the good things about share factory is you've got options for all different sorts now some of them are animated so not really going to show up so well in a thumbnail because it's a still shot obviously but um, still worth considering some of those um, but uh, for the moment we're just going to leave it on what we had before and you have got text animation where you can make the um, you know the text 
here you can make it zoom in or zoom out um, or sorry fade in or fade out or you can make it jump around and move around so again lots of different options to play with but not really that useful for a thumbnail again but uh, if you're putting it into a video clip certainly worth trying so um, we changed it to yellow there um, and I think we're going to try and change this one as well so passive so we're just going to go into color and then straight down to the yellow and then click across and then that will do that and I'm gonna edit mm, yeah I think what we're gonna do is change uh, oh yeah so you can go into op opacity as well so you can make that so it's you can see some of the background through the word or you can make it so it's fully bold and you can't see through it so um, again just playing about with that is worth doing okay and then lastly we're just going to change the day 13 um, on the clip as well so we're doing exactly the same thing going into color and you can play about with these um, different settings to get them uh, you know uh, different colors or saturation levels so just play about with those if you want them lighter darker um, the brightness here is you know you can darker there or by but we're just going to keep all that the same and then go down to uh, yellow and keep it like that so then um, once we've done that we can start looking at stickers so I often put an arrow in the video it's just something that's always been done but you've got all these different options here um, so put in whatever you want so for me um, obviously you've got various different options but I'm going to go straight to the arrow and uh, choose the one I want to put which is probably going to be uh, this one's uh, this one's probably going to be the best one so we press cross to confirm that and then it puts it on the screen transform and we can move it around like we did with the text we can spin it around using R2 and uh, L2 and then we can make it smaller or bigger using L1 and R1 so I'm gonna just spin it around so it's pointing from day 13 down to towards passive win now it's not gonna be that effective because it's Going to have to be quite small and it's not quite pointing the way it would work ideally but we're just going to play about with it and get it however we want it to look and once we're happy with that we will leave it as it is okay so i'm happy with that now i want to just change the win to win so i'm going to go to edit text and uh, put in an s and then line it up and by using transform move it across its level with passive and cross to confirm and that looks good and then we just need to generate as a thumbnail so we push options on a controller and go over to generate thumbnail and push cross and then that is going to save project thumbnail save so that's all saved and now we can just delete it by um, going in to um, square and then delete a clip and uh, there we go it's got rid of it but it saved it to your project so um, it, although you won't see it in the video it'll be saved on the project and if you upload it to YouTube then obviously it'll be saved as a thumbnail for your YouTube clip okay um, if you've forgotten how to or if you haven't seen how to uh, upload it to YouTube check out one of my other videos but uh, that's pretty much it so if you've found any value of uh, this uh, video please do subscribe and uh, comment if there's anything else you want me to do look at my previous videos if you haven't seen anything more on share factory but I've got lots more share factory videos coming up so uh, please take a look and uh, turn on notifications just so you don't miss the next ones okay thanks